it's time to head to Confidential Corner. Da, 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 da. This is called Seduction or Snoring. For this, we need one male name. We haven't yet asked her. Let's see what she's got in her pot of names. Oh, it's no. Tash. Oh, so she cool. hadn't, but she'd come to the table with Josephine as a girl's name. And she oh. hasn't got what, a male one. Should we go Joe? Is that just boring? No, no. Joe's fine. No, no, it's your, Joe's Joe. absolutely yeah. fine. Uh, this comes from Joe, who says, Dear Harry Uncles and the Queen of the Tash, I'm in trouble and I need advice. Oh. My wife and I have been together for 11 years. Admittedly, we got in a bit of a rut. We'd get home from work, watch telly, fall asleep in front of the telly, go to bed, repeat the next day. At weekends, we'd do the same without the work bits. Now, my wife loves your shows and the podcast, and I blame one of you for suggesting such a thing as a date night because she got this into her head. The next thing I knew, I'd been whisked off to a country house hotel for the weekend. Ooh, when, I, when I got there, I was presented with a new suit. Told to be ready for dinner, which I did. And it was lovely, I have to say. We had some drinks and then we were shown through to a very nice restaurant. All through dinner, my wife was being flirty and making eyes at me. And I have to say, I enjoyed that too. So all was going pretty well. And then when we went back to our lovely hotel suite. My wife told me to lay on the bed while she went in the bathroom. This was about 11 o'clock at night. I was quite excited, I have to say. <clears> but she was in the bathroom for quite a long time. The next thing I knew, it was 2.30 in the morning. And I had a very angry wife glaring at me from the sofa. And she said, oh, you're awake now, are you? It seems she'd gone to the trouble of putting on a rather sexy outfit that she bought specially. It took longer than she thought, and when she came out of the bathroom, I was Sparko. She tried to wake me, but I just <laughs> dribbled a bit and snored some more. She thinks I was snubbing her. I've been trying to say I was just tired, but she's still cross. What can I do? She will listen to this. Asks Joe. Over to you. Oh, you, you, you've blown it, Joe, haven't you? Joe, she's you, tried yeah, so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Your wife sounds brilliant. Yeah, yeah she does. She's she got yeah. a number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds great. Mind you, if it had that many straps and fastenings on whatever she was wearing, that mind started to boggle, really. You know, nice bra and knickers don't take that long, Joe. You were in for a treat, weren't you? They yes. were, yeah. Yes. She, if she, she was in there for quite a while, she, you know, she, she might have got herself in a bit of a kerfuffle. Oh. Um, yeah, oh, Joe, you oh, donkey. Joe. You I'd complete and utter donkey. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I think what you need to do is, re <clears throat> add, uh, I, I, I don't mean this biblically, remount the whole scenario again. Yeah. And uh, you you take the lead on it instead of I your agree. wife. So, yeah. And then that, that may help. And just that lie, just say, look, it was such a lovely surprise. I was such a lovely time. I felt so relaxed. Such a place of absolute ecstasy. I nodded off, love. No, Dave, stop there. No, no and no. <laughs> He fell asleep. <laughs> Bottom line, relax. She wasn't going there for a relaxing time. She was going there to she swing from the chandelier. Yeah, I she mean, was that going is there a for disaster. He on Terra Molinos, <laughs> wasn't she? You know what I mean? She had a sombrero hat on and everything. I'd have come uh, out of the bathroom and gone, "Yes, he's asleep." <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot. He's nodded off. Get the comfy onesie back on and in I get. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, it'd be quite good fun married to you, Tash. I think it'd be <laughs> hilarious. Be hilarious. Yeah, be, be like Mrs. Yeah. Whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> All temptation and no action, don't worry. Uh, a bit of a dominatrix going on there, I think, Tash. No, no, no. But I have to say, it takes. I think it takes quite a lot. I like the fact she took control and she decided if I'm not going to get it from him and we're not, we're being boring every night, she took control. She didn't turn around to him and go, why don't you take me out for a date night and why don't you take me to the hotel? She did it all. Yeah, it's brilliant. It all. I think it's brilliant. That's, yeah, it's a real shame he kind of messed up. I imagine it didn't come from a place of, of malice. He did it because he wanted to... He was exhausted, had great food, he was having such a nice time. But he's just got to make up for it. He's got to turn around and go, I am so sorry, and I'll take you away. And yes. Let's yes, do it before we go to dinner. Let's get let's swing around the bathroom and, and the bedroom before dinner, and then we have a lovely dinner, then we can cuddle up at the end. And actually check in a bit early. Yeah. 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 yeah Five o'clock's a good time, I find. That's yeah. my peak time, that. Five oh, o'clock tea time. Yeah. It's just oh. like you can have a nod off in the afternoon, wake up, and then before you go to dinner, you, yeah. that's the thing as well is, if you go to one of these posh dinners and you're full of food and you've had a few glasses of wine, it's not the best. But five o'clock tea time, pot of tea, custard cream and off your romp. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think you might be right, Dave, because I think there's excitement. If you wouldn't do that at home, well, maybe you do, Dave. But I just think you go to a hotel early. How often at home at five o'clock do you realistically do that? So it's, it's exciting to do it at that time. And you're getting ready to go out. You're putting your makeup on. As a girl, it's when you're feeling all mm, fresh and lovely, not tired and fat after your big meal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I, I, I can't. Yeah, I'm not great after after dinner. No. Uh, uh, no. No. I, I no. agree. No, but five o'clock, you see. Five o'clock. Not too oh. early, not too late. Or first you, you... thing in the morning. Oh, no, no, but no, but first thing in the morning. By the time you clean your teeth and everything got, got acceptable to make love, I think it's, it's I'm, I'm awake oh, Dave, then. No, no, Dave, you don't do that bit. You don't get up and get ready. You just roll oh, over no. as you wake up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, <laughs> not, not, not with bog breath. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, my mine I'm on about, not not anybody else. No, I wouldn't inflict that on my worst enemy. Paul or Mitch. Oh, just clean my teeth. teeth. You can't no, clean have a gargle. You when you've got, uh, you know, boy, you know, I don't like clockwork, a... me. <laughs> no, no, get all that out of the way. But no, no, five o'clock tea time, you see. No, it's good that, yeah. Because you idea. had a shower in the morning when you get up and then you can just do your business. Five o'clock, have a wonderful time. And half past six, regulars out, go and have a shower and you're ready for dinner and the night of your life. And you're all blooming and lovely and cuddly yeah. and... Yeah, and then, then right, you yeah. go back back at night and it's just that lovely embrace. And then off you pop to the land of snow. Yeah. And maybe she took so long in there because she had a few glasses and she couldn't get the fastenings done up. And, you know, if she's doing it sober before she's got out, you know, it might be easier and quicker in the bathroom. It won't take them so long to wait. I dread to think what she was wearing, though. She's trying to dress with Spider Woman in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. A leather cat suit. <laughs> I think, I, do you know, I think if she is listening, I think don't be mad at him. He is feeling guilty. And do you know what he's done? He's gone and written to us. And that's so sweet because he knows you listen. And so he's trying to say sorry another way. Um, so I, I try again. Try yeah, again. or she could have been even more romantic and just say, got a glass of cold water and dripped it onto his forehead. <laughs> Wake up, sleepy head. I've got a surprise for you. There are two ways of managing that affair, you know. Mm. So you might well, oh, let's go. Oh, wowza. You know, one hope that would have been his reaction. Mm. And not, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> I mean, you know, she could have, you know, had a fertile down below. That would have weirded him up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think now she's put all the effort in. She did all the booking. She did everything. <laughs> it's time for him to put a bit more in. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <Yeah>. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>